following MUFON or TUFOs or any of those, or you've strictly been in the historical? Yeah, I've been, I've been in Nightcap. Um, uh, uh, Kufos and uh, Mufon. I've been uh, I've been members of all three of them. And they, I was a member of the PRO. Okay. So, uh, so you so, can help us with all that as a historian, UFO right. historian, and help us now, with now, the, the building. Right. The uh, uh, the APRO bulletins. When the APRO then NICAP, and then Mufon. Right. Kufos was in there somewhere. APRO, then NICAP, right? APRO was 1952. They were in it very early. And then uh, NICAP was uh, 1957 to 1980. Uh, APRO was, I, I think, went till 86. I'm not sure. Um. And then, uh, what was Kufos? Uh, Kufos uh, started in, uh, I think, uh, 1974. And they're still in, in existence. 73. Yeah. Okay, 73. Okay. So I and will, I will be going out there. I will be going out to Kufos to uh, scan some of their files with Barry now, Green. Now, on. MUFON is 1969, isn't it? After uh, the war. I remember sure there was a when, meeting. I was in I'm that not meeting. Sure when MUFON, I, I thought MUFON started in the in the middle 60s. I think it was 69 because I was in 67, and and uh, they came down telling us about forming. Uh, a new group, but the Lawrensons and uh, two other men uh, out of Wisconsin, and then they met, and then we had a Texas. Uh, it was they came down to NASA, and uh, we met at a man's house, and yeah, I can't remember uh, the man's name. Yeah, I, I uh, see. I went in the military in 1967, so I kind of lost track about what was going on over here. Oh, okay. Um, well, you're yeah, the closest uh, thing I've heard next to these men that used to keep the – they had the books, uh, Kehoe's and Arnold and all that stuff. They were real pro, you know, uh, cosmos, I guess one might say, or pro, you know, alien civilizations exist and NASA and astronauts and all of that. So I think that's – they brought me in as a teenager, uh, several of us girls, uh was in the Houston Chronicle, uh, May 67. And my name was uh, Ginger Thurman, T-H-U-R-M-O-N-D, and I went by Ginger, which was a nickname, because my name was Teresa J. But it's funny, because I I had that in Kentucky. I hope my, rel- my husband's relatives didn't throw it away historically. But I was in the Historical Society up there in Ohio County. Now, you think this is the close to historical uh, evidence that we could collect, right? Because the Lawrensons were collecting newspaper clippings and stuff. And you you got part of their files now, or no? It's strictly microfilm. That's well, their 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 files. Uh, a lot of people had pieces of the files. Okay. Because um, we have uh, uh, Richard Greenwell, not to be. Uh, uh, not the young uh, boy John Greenwald, the one that no, had no, not uh, Greenwald, Greenwell, G R E E N W W A L L, and he was in Brazil. He was in uh, Peru, and so he had uh, a lot of the records for UFO Peru, or excuse me, APRO Peru, and so. Uh, he had them at his house, so we got those. We have those APRO Peru. Um, APRO Mexico, we don't have the records, but uh, uh, this one guy that's uh, uh, like uh, and John Greenwald? He has Richard the Greenwald. APRO Mexico. Oh, now which one? John Greenwald's 
Top Secret, our APR interview by Richard Greenwell, Perot. I'm getting them mixed up too now. APRO. Uh oh, he fell off. I guess he ran out of battery. Darn it. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm mad we should have uh, established. Uh... Oh, here he comes back. He fell off. Let's see. Back again. Yeah. We had some okay? kind of somebody that had some some pretty uh, big electronics must have gone by on the road because that happens every once in a while here. Oh, really? I wondered what happened to you. All right. Knocked the so... phone and it knocked. It, it it changed the TV channel, so. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, so Serpo, uh, what was his name? Guillermo Serpa of the uh, Commander Peruvian Air Force. Now, Serpa, did he work with APRO? Or APRO was taking data for UFO history files. We were talking about Green Wall and Green, John Greenwald. But there was a Richard Greenwell, right? Right. Richard Greenwell, for a while there, he was the assistant director of APRO, but then uh, he decided he didn't want it. Uh, uh, it, The the Lorenzans were so possessive, they weren't going to turn it over to anybody. But when they died... So he had uh, the APRO crew files, which uh, his widow let us copy. Well, we'll have to. Uh, wow. Uh, I'm offering, I pay for these uh, domain websites, but my friend here, uh, Thomas R. Becker, is trying to get me to uh, help set up where we don't have to pay out of our pockets for all these archive locations, but you've got yours on a hard drive server and on the internet right now, right? It's 1947, Project 1947, where you're holding all your files? Or no, one copy. no, it's not. No, no. Uh, Project 1947 is mainly, um, it's, uh, it's some, you know, it's, it's got quite a few sighting reports there. And it's got historical articles. Uh, uh, <clears throat> myself and a number of other people have written. In fact, you might call it the Keith Basterfield uh, re- uh, UFO Research uh, Organization because he's he's written more than I have. <laughs> oh, who is that? I'll put his name up here too. Make him Keith a Keith Basterfield. Keith Basterfield is in Australia. He's uh, in uh, southern Australia, and uh, uh, he's probably the expert on uh, Australian UFO uh, documents. Okay. How do you spell his last name? A-S-T-E-R-F-I-E-L-D? That's what I'm hearing. Uh, B-A-S-T-E-R-F-I-E-L-D. All right. I th- so you did say Basterfield. The right. B. Okay. I just didn't want to hear it for some reason. Okay. Right. Keith Basterfield, Australia UFO. Well, I'll make him a page, but it's empty right now. Does he have a, a link I can put on the page for him in the UFO Association at least? Well, Does he have can, a website? Like, like, like I said, you can put it, you can put my website because, uh, He's probably pushing me off of my own website. <laughs> uh, but he does have, uh, um, in fact, the National Archives in Australia has taken over his website. And uh, uh, it's it's part of the National Archives system now. So, wow. So they've... Uh, and he's a uh, he's a the researcher that just he you know he he's he's been in it not quite as long as I have but he's probably done more than I have. Okay. And then of well, course he, 
Well, if you're looking for organizations, remember cause. Citizens Against UFO Security. Barry Greenwood. Okay. He has a, he has a, he has a, uh, the, the, uh, Barry Greenwood archives there on the, uh, internet. Okay, that's with a B, huh? Yeah, Barry Greenwood. Well, I'll make him one. My goodness. So, uh, I guess that's what we're going to do is just try to get everybody linked together and then let everybody do their own research. If I can just carry their links. I'll be happy <laughs> because uh, just talking to you, that you you could probably fill the fill a whole database just full of people you know, not to mention the cases, right, from back right. in the day. And so I, I guess uh, part of mm-hmm. uh, Keith is uh, uh, we've exchanged uh, thumb drives back and forth, so he's wow. he's, he's gone ahead and. Put his files on, uh, scanned in his a lot of his files, not all of them. And so we exchanged some drives back and forth. So I have his, I have a good piece of his files. Um, I should say I got uh, Andy Roberts' files from England. So uh, he did a special project on Foo Fighters. So. Uh, uh, Barry Greenwood and I got uh, each got half of his Foo Fighter uh, research, so we we put that stuff together, so it's all in one place now. And wow. I got uh, I got his. Uh, I think I probably got about uh, uh, maybe a hundred and fifty, maybe two hundred uh, uh, Great Britain files from uh, Great Britain that Andy Roberts had in his files, so we've got those. Um, so... Well, I guess I'll have to just... I'm not sure. I've got a girl of the UK. She just went to one of the local... or went to the conference with uh, Linda Moten Howell, Richard Dolan, a lot of people up there called Awakening, Tina Bird, and uh, she gets her picture out there and uh, when they come over to the UK, but uh, she's over the UK group with photos anyway. But you guys have the history, so I'll have to put you in the UK too. So uh, I'm not sure how we'll do all that yet, but uh, we'll just have to have you come back. We're about out of time this week. I'm sorry we got a late start, folks. 